Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1988 German Deutsche Mark, West German um, Deutsche Mark, so we're going to be going over its information, history, mintage, values, and more, but I just want to thank MA Shops for sponsoring this video. They are a trusted online marketplace with a wide variety of ancient and world coins, US coins, paper money, stamps, and more. I would definitely go on over and browse their collection, or er, their selection to see if you can have anything for your collection um, because I've found some cool stuff there. So here the design, I'll, I'll get started, shows a German eagle similar to some of the uh, imperial eagles of the pre-World War I German Empire. Um, the Federal Republic of Germany is going to be the West German coin. I'll talk about East German marks a little bit later. But that J mint mark is going to stand for Hamburg, one of four mints that this coin could have been made at. Here we see the oak leaves, um, sort of the oak tree. There's some oak seedlings on the smaller denomination coins. Uh, this design was the same from 1950 to 2001. It's the only one mark coin design. And at that point, Germany was just emerging from World War II. So that's why they chose this sort of new re-emerging um, plant theme. Um, there's some interesting things going on on the edge of the coin, but um, the mark itself was from 1948 to 2001. Um, the years again this was 1950 to 2001 but at that 2001 they demonetized them at the end of the year you couldn't circulate them anymore but germany is one of the only places that still honors it so you can exchange this um, at a rate of one euro equals 1.955 german marks um, and there, you know you have to go to a Bundesbank, one of the large bank branches but they will do it for you um, so there's always some base value here around 60 us cents or 52 uh, whatever it is, um, euro cents. Now, in terms of some of the other um, things to note about it, it's copper nickel weighs 5.5 grams, so it's similar in size and weight to a U.S. quarter, um, and was made just to circulate normally. The official exchange rate between West and East German marks was one to one, but the um, the government in East Germany would force you to convert 25 West to East if you were visiting as a way to profit because the black market, it was really like five or 10 East German marks equals one West German. Um, and when the two sides came back together, uh, West Germany was very kind and exchanged, you know, made them whole at two marks per East German mark, uh, except for some speculative money that sort of ramped up right before it at three to one. Uh, and that sort of allowed a little bit more financial stability to the East Germans uh, and help people with their bank loans and savings and that sort of thing. But this coin itself, there's not going to be a huge amount of value over the 52 euro or 60 cents, um, but if you have an uncirculated coin, you can expect to gain around uh, 2 to $3 for it. The mintages from uh, the D-Mint, which is Munich, uh, you can. there's 20.8 million. Um, there are 24 million from the F-Mint or Stuttgart. Karlsruhe only has 13.8 million. And Hamburg has, the J-Mint has 21.4 million. So those are the mintage totals. That really wraps things up. No huge rarity difference across them. But um, yeah, make sure that you don't throw this one out because it can be exchanged for over 50 cents. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.